When entering the scene, the EMT will ensure their person, partner, and patient are safe. Scan the environment for any hazards, looking for downed power lines, inclement weather, or other scene hazards. I see one patient at this time who appears to be suffering from a mechanism of injury due to an auto versus pedestrian collision. I recognize the need for additional resources. Will you call for advanced life support? Yes. Dispatch, ALS requested. The patient may be suffering from a neck injury. Partner, hold cervical spine immobilization. The patient's eyes are not tracking my movement. Sir, sir, can you hear me? No verbal response. Oh. The patient localizes to pain. Patient has a weak pulse and slow breathing. Patient is responsive to pain, secondary to traffic collision. The airway appears patent. Patient's breathing appears to be at a rate of 10, regular and shallow. Lung sounds are clear and equal bilaterally. Partner, let's apply oxygen via non-rebreather at 15 liters per minute. Patient's pulse is fast, weak, and regular. Skin signs are pale, cool, and diaphoretic. The patient is likely in shock. We will need to transport and can complete our assessment while en route.
The patient is unconscious and I am unable to obtain a sample history or OPQRST. Partner, are there any family members we can ask? I haven't seen anyone yet. And partner, what are our vitals? The pulse is 108 beats per minute, respirations of 10, blood pressure of 96 over 50, eyes are fixed, lung sounds are clear, equal bilaterally. The patient is responsive to pain only. The patient's pulse ox is statting at 94%, blood sugar of 82. Skin signs are cool, pale, and diaphoretic, and a Glasgow coma scale of 8. Let's prepare for supine spinal immobilization. Cover the patient with a warm blanket and cover the wounds with dressings. The patient appears to be unstable, and thus we will reassess every 5 minutes. 